Paul prayed for the Ephesians even though they've been sealed with the Spirit. He says, I pray for you that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Yet more, you see. Moses asked for more. Paul asked for more. David asked for more. I will earnestly seek you. Only a fool who come across a gold mine wouldn't go back and get the rest of it. Seek him in faith. Faith. Believing that God is great. Great enough to deliver me from this sin. Great enough to fix my life. Great enough to bring me on, to move me on, to plant my feet on higher ground. Lord, I am trusting you that there's nothing too difficult for you. You're able to heal my life, fix my life, bring me on, do whatever is needed in my life. I'm throwing, I'm plowing, I'm investing again everything in you. I'm trusting you to do this for me. Praying in big faith. We're coming to a king. Large petitions with thee bring his grace and power. Such one can never ask too much. Moses held up the arms of intercession. Israel prevailed. Joshua prayed and the sun stood still. Pastor Xi of China, he, he was converted. His wife wasn't converted. She was a hindrance to the work. He fasted and prayed for three days, went into the bedroom and cast the demon out of his wife, and she was a great helper thereafter. Pray, pray with faith. God is willing. God is able. Trusting the Lord for all these things. Anything. Call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Be stranded on God, stranded on omnipotence. Hey, you're in one of two categories. You're either a seeker of God or you're not. If you're not a seeker of God, here's what you here's what I know God is telling you to do today, and that is seek the Lord while he may be found. It says in Ezra, he said, He had told the king that the hand of our God is on them for good that seek him. But his power and wrath are against everyone who forsakes him, who neglects his power and wrath for not seeking God, you better get in today while the Lord is near, while the Lord is here, while you've got life and breath. You know, a static position is very dangerous. If the airplane stops making progress, it's coming down. Amaziah did that which is right in the sight of God, yet not with all his heart. Wow! Lord, don't let me have that on my tombstone. Don't let that be my biography. I did right in the sight of God, but not with all my heart. Help us. You better seek God right now. You better get in with Him. Are you afraid of going to hell? Here's the thing to do. It says, this poor man cried to the Lord, and the Lord delivered him from all his fears. Are you afraid of going to hell? Cry out to God like a poor man. Empty-handed come. Lord, nothing in my hand I bring. I'm coming to you. I'm seeking you. It says, if you'll seek me, you'll find me if you search for me with all your heart. The reason you're not finding God, though you've been seeking him a little bit, is because you're still holding something back. Is seek him and find him when you search for him with all your heart. You will find him that way. The Bible says so. Pursue him with all our heart, no strings attached, absolute, unconditional surrender to the King of Kings, all of our affection cast upon him, invested in him. Let's go on. I feel like someone just pointing across the ocean. Let's plow in, in this adventure, out of the wilds of sin, into the presence of God.